only that in the big cities, otherwise 12. Elizabeth Warren says if we pegged it to productivity since 1960, it would really be $22. Well, uh, and honestly, I don't know how you can live on even $15. Well, the minimum wage stands for the simple proposition that no one who works a full-time job should have to live in poverty. And I meet so many people in this job, Bill, who are working a full-time job and getting their food at the food pantry. I met a woman in Detroit who uh, fast Well, you get out of I make house calls in the I show. I see that. Yeah, you're, on the, you're on the case. And, uh, you know, the, the night before I met her, she has three kids. She works in the fast food area. And uh, she slept in her car. You know, we can do better than that as a nation. And what the president has supported, and I support, and the likes of Elizabeth Warren and Patty Murray and other progressive Democrats support, is a $12 federal floor and then $15 elsewhere. The first trip I took in 2016 was to stand with Andrew Recovery is to make sure we have shared prosperity. And that's what I do every day in this job, to make sure that people have the skills to succeed and, and the retirement security to succeed and, and that they get paid for that. I understand you are the first cabinet secretary to be uh, confirmed on, on a strict party line vote. You didn't get one Republican vote, right? Uh, on culture, that, yeah, actually on both, yeah. That's amazing because, I mean, no offense, but this is not one of those cabinet positions that usually you have on the first one. It's not one of the sexy ones again. That's <laughs> right. I was thinking, you know, labor, come on, give it to them. Well, I mean, uh, here, here's the reality, Bill. Uh, <laughs> Love that one. Max Brooks, hey Max. Thank you. Great to see you back here. He is the president of Demos Thank Action. The Heather McGee. Okay. <laughs> right. The real America. Well, but the South. You know what's interesting? The Bible Belt. I love the South. Yeah, they, uh, they come back. They come back. great again because I was telling a Trump joke and it's pretty de rigueur for comics to tell Trump jokes and then another guy had to be taken out because I was making a joke about Hillary and you can't make a joke about anybody anymore and then someone just wouldn't stop shouting Benghazi like I might have been my mom but, but what I'm saying is that